Let's move on to the other Rebisco team, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. So uh, they posted a picture. So malinaw na ito yung mga magiging projected starters natin. Starters, actual starters ni Coach Oliver Almadro, I should say. Dino Wong at setter. Open spikers, Regine Arocha and Pongay Gaston. Middle blockers, Madi Madayag and Bea De Leon. Opposite hitter, Kat Tolentino. Libero, Denden Lazaro Revilla. And of course, the coach, Coach Oliver Almadro. Sir Joy Villar, ano masasabi mo sa Choco Mucho Flying Titans? I think Choco Mucho would be a stronger team this year because of Rian Wong. Kumbaga, nag-upgrade sila sa setter na kulang nila in the past campaign. So, kumbaga, maayos din naman yung setter nila before. Pero in Dian Wong, pag 100% to, tapos familiar pa siya kila Kat Tolentino, mm-hmm. Bea Del, kila Madi. Mm-hmm. Madi ko, parang ang nanonood ng Ateneo. With additional <laughs> talent ng other uh-huh. college teams. Sila uh-huh. nila, di ba, nila Arocha. Mm-hmm. Sila Ebuen, MVP ng NCA ito. Alam mo yan, di ba? Yeah, yeah. So, imagine mo, uh-huh. Ateneo team plus talented additions, lakas. Oh. Ito ang tanong ko sa'yo, Sir Joey. Eh. Kasi when I look at all of the projected starting lineups, something is telling me that Chocomucho's first six is possibly the strongest in the PVL. That That's how I feel about it. Kasi, Dino Wong, Madi Madayag, Bea De Leon, Kat Tolentino, yung, yung triple towers na yun, tapos si Dina pa, very familiar with them, Coach O, and then of course, you have then then Lazaro Revilla. And then, the only possible weakness that I see, and this is with all due respect to Regine and Pongay, because Regine and Pongay, we know what they can do in the NCAA and UAP level, but they are not yet proven in the professional level. So I think in terms of the first six, it's their time to shine. And that's what we're gonna learn about them. But do you think, yun nga, Sir Joey, na this is the best starting lineup in the PVL? How do you feel? I think, uh, I have to agree, because uh, especially now, that I'm, just like what I mentioned earlier, they have now a better setter in Wong, na kayang facilitate ng plays, familiar with yung triple tower na tingin ko pinakamalakas na triple tower doon ako naniniwala sa Bon Liga yung triple tower na tallest one of the tallest if not the tallest mm. team na to so tapos imagine mo nagkasete so maniwala ka uulan ng palo yan uulan ng <laughs> hindi mo alam kung ano yung stop mo doon sa tatlo uh, I promise you eto Sir Joey another question na follow up doon sa about kay Regine and Pongay do you think that they will elevate their game and be effective in the professional level. I think Pongai because of her familiarity with Dian Wong and Arocha, na alam naman natin na mm. ano yan eh, hindi kailangan na umiscore yan para mag-contribute eh. Mm. Arocha, she can do everything. Na she can adapt to any situation na nakita natin sa NCAA na di ba? Eh, champion na niya, champion mentality rin yan. So, tingin ko kayang, one of the X-Factors na si Arocha, tingin ko for me. Kasi, ito yung missing link ng isa sa mga weaknesses ng ano eh, na I think Arocha can fill that up. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.